We are going to cook some couscous, uh, not exactly a grain, but a, from dung and wheat, and it's high source of fibre. Um, we're going to use it as um, a side dish, and into it, I'm just going to show you how to cook it, and into it we're going to add some flavouring, so we might add some fried courgettes, some tomatoes, and some mushrooms, and also have a bag of spinach. Okay, so in order to cook this couscous, I'm going to boil some water, I've got myself a jug, and I'm going to chop and then fry a few vegetables just to add some flavour to it. So I've got a courgette here, so I'm just going to use half of this courgette. Finally dice my courgette. and then I'm just going to fry that off in a pan. Right, let's figure that. So here's my pan, there's my finely chopped courgette, there's my pan, adding a little bit of oil and just letting that heat up. And I'm just going to add in my courgettes. Remember, this is just to add some flavour. So while they're heating up or cooking, rather, I'm going to my couscous. Now the key in the couscous is not to add too much water. So you can measure it. So I'm going to put, let's put, the couscous doubles in size. So I'm going to put 100 grams of couscous into my jug. I'm going to pour that into there. And then I'm going to put twice the amount of water. Remember this water is boiling. I'm going to put 200 boiling water into that. I could add a stock cube, which I should have done. I, mean, I could have added a stock cube, but this time I'm going to do it plain because I'm adding all the other. I'm just going to pour that into there, and all I'm letting it do is just let it steam. I'm going to put a lid on it, as in a plate. You can cover it with cling, cling film and just leave it to sit until all that couscous has absorbed the water. So I'm also going to just chop up a little bit of, um, what am I chopping up? Mushroom. Yeah, some of them don't look so great, but these are just sort of what was left over in my fridge. And it's just to add flavour into the couscous. I won't add those, I'll add those. So you can see my courgettes cooking. you could add some seasoning, some salt and pepper. Um, what I'm going to do is going to add some parsley. So I've got some parsley. And I'll add that in last of all. The spinach doesn't take long. It just wilts very quickly and you're going to keep all the nutrients in it. So we'll leave that to go in last of all. So I can just check my couscous. And as you can see, a lot of the water has been absorbed, but you can still see a little bit. So I'm going to let it carry on steaming. I'm going to add my parsley and let that... Because I'm actually going to turn the heat off this. So my vegetable, um, I've just added some parsley to that. That's cooked sweaty down just slightly. My couscous, as you can see, it's still nice and hot. And it's all, I'm able to fork through it and there's no liquid. So that's lovely. Um, I'm going to add just a handful of spinach while the pan is off the heat. The pan is now off the heat. Just a handful of spinach, which should probably be enough for that amount of couscous. Remember, I've got 100 grams of, or 100 millilitres of um, couscous. I'm just going to let that wilt down. And while that's wilting down, I'm just going to, for added colour and goodness i'm gonna just slice in quarter these are cherry tomatoes they're um quite very readily available this time of year it's the end of the summer isn't it so there's lots of them around and i'm just gonna cut them in quarter i'm only cutting them in quarter there's some lovely colors in here you can do this with peppers or anything else that's colorful so it doesn't have to be tomatoes that's the oven and i'm gonna actually add these straight into there And then I'm going to add in maybe just some of that veg, just to show you what it's like. Okay, so I'm going to add a bit of pepper and 
some salt. Not too much salt because you've got lots of flavour. You can add some dried herbs, uh, oregano or um, thyme, whatever you've got in the cupboard or mixed herbs. I'm just going to mix that in. As you can see, it's not really sticking. Some rest, some people say to add in some olive oil, but you know, I don't really think that you need to. And I think that's it. If we should serve it over the plate. You can serve this with a stew. It's nice with the chickpea stew. I think you've got to gene, haven't you, on the recipe on the, on the website. Yeah, nice alternative to uh, rice or potatoes. So in there you've got all your vegetables and you know, like I said, you can serve it with like, anything really, a stewy type dish.